Good morning, and welcome to today's Thursday morning prayer service. My name is Harry McFate, and I am an elder at the Community Presbyterian Church here in Payson, Arizona. Today is a special Thursday. Today is Monday Thursday. A special, very special day in Christianity. If you have not already done so, please find a peaceful, quiet, and relaxing place where you can contemplate this morning's scriptures, prayers, and comments. It may be inside or outside. Monday Thursday, it's also known as Holy Thursday, Sheer Thursday, Great and Holy Thursday, and Thursday of Mysteries. It is a day we call every time we take communion and celebrate the Last Supper, where Jesus symbolizes his death and resurrection through the breaking of the bread and the drinking of the wine at the Passover meal. So, Happy Holy Thursday. Our first scripture lesson this morning is taken from uh, uh, John chapter 13, uh, verse 3 through 20, and verse 31 to 35. Please listen to the word of our Lord. Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he had come from God and was going to God, got up from the table, took off his outer robe, and tied a towel around himself. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was tied around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, You do not know what I am doing, but later you will understand. Peter said to him, you will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, unless I wash you, you have to share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, one who has bathed does not need to wash except to the feet, but is entirely clean. And you are clean, though not all of you. For he knew who was to betray him. For the reason he said, not all of you are clean. When he had gone out, Jesus uh, said, Now the Son of Man has been glorified. God has been glorified to him. God has been God, rather, will also glorify himself and will glorify all at once. Little children, I am with you only a little longer. You will no longer, you will look for me. And I said to the Jews, as I said to the Jews, so now I say to you, where I am going, you cannot come. I give you a new commandment that you love one another just as I have loved you. You also should love one another. By this everyone will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. Last year, I recall Pastor Andy Blackwater relating a story in these days' devotions. When he was a missionary over in Haiti, it was a little island off of Haiti, he did not speak any of the language, languages as much as he had studied earlier. The children at the Bible camp 
where he was attending, could not speak in English. They had taken a, a bucket of water with them and a, a towel and a chair. They motioned one little child to sit down on the chair and they sprinkled cold water over her little feet. She giggled. It tickled. One by one, the children had their feet rinsed. Soon, parents, grandparents, and even neighbors joined in. Jesus' actions were better than words for the disciples as well, just like the actions of the missionaries in Haiti. Let us pray. Uh, gracious God, teach us to serve as we are served. Fill us with Jesus' love. Help us all to be his disciples. Allow us to grow in our faith and recall Jesus' expressions of love better than words. Let us demonstrate the example of love carried out by Jesus and perhaps others like those little Haiti children one by one will become aware of the expressions of love. Amen. At the Last Supper, Jesus was presiding over a Passover Seder. So it is interesting to wonder uh, when this supper really took place. I am sure religious scholars have debated this and, and have their answers, but re Jewish religion uses a, a lunar calendar. So that Passover is always on a fixed day. Usually the 14th, or probably most often the 14th of the month. We Christians celebrate Easter the first Sunday after the full moon, which fluctuates, as we know, considerably. Maybe the last Thursday, the, the, the last supper was on Wednesday, Maundy Wednesday. Maybe it was on Tuesday. Monday, Tuesday, perhaps even on Monday, Monday, Monday. It wasn't until I was in junior high school that I called it Monday, Thursday. I always called it Monday, Thursday. It makes no difference. Monday stands for commandments, or better, mandates, a final directive. Here, Jesus was giving a final directive to his disciples. In the law, we have such final directives as writs of mandamus, requiring people to immediately do something under the law. It's important. It is immediate. In John, Jesus is Mandating the final commandment of humility, servitude, and love. Thus, this is Monday Thursday, what Monday Thursday is all about. Our second scripture this morning is from the Old Testament Exodus, uh, chapter 12, 1 through 4, and 12 through 14. Please listen to the word of our Lord. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month shall mark for you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year for you. Tell the whole congregation of Israel that on the tenth of the month, 
They are to take a lamb for each family, a lamb for each household. And this is how you shall eat it. Your loins girded, your sandals on your feet, and your staff on your hand. And you shall eat it hurriedly. It is the Passover of the Lord. For I will pass through the land of Egypt that night, and I will strike down every firstborn in the land of Egypt, but both human beings and animals, on all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgments. I am the Lord. The blood shall be a sign for you on the, on the house, on the houses where you live. When I see the blood, I will pass over you, and no plague shall destroy you when I strike the, the land of Egypt. Well, this is pretty gruesome, isn't it? But what does it have to do with Maundy Thursday? Well, for over 400 years, God's people suffered as slaves. But great change was about to occur. God was about to set them free and guide them to a promised land. A great change. Passover signified the readiness of change, trusting the following of the Lord. This is what was being celebrated the night of the Last Supper. You see, Jesus was telling his disciples of a great change, the most significant change for mankind ever. Let us pray. Dear God, on this Holy Thursday, we, we wonder what prayer Jesus offered to the disciples. We recall circumstances were challenging. Freedom was at issue. As we approach Easter, we must pray that we all together are stronger, that we are all individuals. Help us to be able to lean on each other as a community and find solidarity, praying for hope and for brighter days that may have to emerge from tragedy, sadness, and even death. But through Jesus' teachings, we know that in the end, we will be stronger All together, in the prayer, let us all go and join together in the prayer that he taught us, uh, saying and reciting, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not unto temptation, but lead us for thou is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Have you ever seen Leonardo da Vinci's painting of The Last Supper? It depicts his interpretation of the Last Supper, showing the disciples and Jesus without any halos, which was common prior to his beautiful painting. It also depicts various expressions of bewilderment and confusion when told by Jesus that one of them would betray him. It is remarkably based on John's writings. Following, we have 
John, once again, summarizing or condensing all the commandments to one, and that is love. Love God and love your neighbor and one another. Jesus encourages his followers to be known as ambassadors for love and selfless, ever empowering others, ensuring fellowship of all, regardless of anything else. So Monday Thursday is all about love and nothing else. As the old Beatles song of 19... 67 says, all we need is love, love, love. Let us pray. Almighty God, on this holy Monday Thursday, let us remember Jesus' message of love. As he promised his disciples, help us to remember that we can be forgiven and that if we live a life of love, we will find a place in heaven's kingdom. As we take communion on this holy night or other times throughout the year, help us to have hope that Jesus' promise of eternal life in heaven will be joyously fulfilled. Amen. Again, Happy Monday, Thursday.